So I thought because we've only had one homework submitted. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll, I'll let Microman off. He, he did a basic one, which was very clever. Um, who's discording me now? Go away. Um, yes, mate. It looks like you're going to be the only the only winner. Where is it? So we had Microman's uh, submission, which is here because I cleaned it up, which is in Discord, by the way, if you want to see it. So. Uh, da, 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 da. So if we just paste everything in. Oh, it does not like the spaces. It does not like the spaces at all. I found that, that pasting long lines in, it does not like the spaces. Right, let's see if that will load in now. There we go. Yeah. So, here we go. So this is Microman's uh, version. C completely basic of the spiral, but it's very, very, it's very clever. I mean, it's got data basically telling it what to do, but we had a bit of a discussion about this command here. This baby. All right, and I went a hunting for the where is it B user guide and searched for SGN I think it is is it SGN SGN or is it SN no it's it's SGN here we go and it's a it's a very, very clever little function. Basically, it returns back minus one, zero, or one. And what it's doing, it says, give me a, a minus number, I'm going to return minus one. Give me a positive number, and I'll return plus one, or zero returns zero. And he's used, because he's, because Microman's here, his data is start, finish, number of cap number of cells to increment by start finish number of increment uh, number of cells to increment by start finish blah blah he's using the third one as the run through the stepper for this array here so this will be 0 to 38 in steps of one because it's a positive number 0 to 23 in steps of one because this is a positive number 38 to zero in steps of minus one because it's minus number but this is this one that makes the difference 21 to zero in minus one so it runs through it in increments of one which I thought was very clever and then when you run it you get something like that what have I missed Oh, I see it. Copy and paste error. I see it. Anybody else see it before I fix it? Oh, gone the wrong way. Keep hitting the wrong key, which is the copy one. It's that. Missing that. Oops. Full out screen editor. It's what we want. There we go. That's because it's not copied everything across. It's the only reason for that. Uh, what's it missed out?
What's it missed out? Oh, there we go. It's missed the last ones off there, hasn't it? Ah. It's missed a number. There we go. Hello, peeps. And there was only one other entry. So we'd got Micromans um, basic entry, which is that. And then we had Monsignor M -A -M -A -M -K. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. It's missing the last number. So it is. Oh, it's missing the last. Um... Oh, look at that. It's missing the last character. So, <laughs> five MK points at this rate. So that's going to be 17. There we go. Yes, yes. There you go. 106, screeching ahead of anybody else. And <laughs> calling five points for calling out a failure. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to add to Microman because he submitted some homework so there you go matey ladies and gentlemen 6502 kebab has entered the chat <laughs> welcome matey Good evening, sir. We're doing all right. We're just we're just evaluating the homework for the last stream, and we've only had two entries: one basic, and somebody else's. So, yeah, AMK's going to AMK points going to be handed out to those two. So we've already got. Uh, Micromans, so this is Micromans, and what I'm going to do is Oh, it's right there. It's right. Oh, yeah, so the one in Discord is right. The code in Discord's right. Morning, Mr. Defender. The next one was Mr. AMK himself, if I can find it. Um, can't remember where I put it. Do, 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 BBC. Here we go. So he's been, he's been clever. So you load keys first. And run it. Just remind myself which one it is. Oh, that's the save. Well, I'm not going to press F1. That's for sure. And he's written it. in assembler yeah f1 save and run yeah so he's written it in assembler lot so 
I mean, I, I, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to um, copy. I'm gonna have to put that so I, so we can see it. What on earth is this? VDU twenty three. That is that set. That's setting up the. Um, is that setting up the viewport? Twenty two, twenty three. The code is used to reprogram the display characters and ASCII codes, assigning the ASCII codes for each character. Hang on. So, what are you re in there? Character one to be nothing. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. Oh, turns the cursor off. All right, okay. Okay, smarty pants. <laughs> so that turns the cursor off. All right. I didn't know that. So he's done it all in basic, ASM basic, okay? So, yeah, if you want, mate, can do that. Give us a ring, and then you can talk about it. Du, 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 du. Hang on, mate. I'm on my way. Here we go. Hello. It says you're muted, mate. Hello. Well, while Andy figures out how to turn on his mic. <laughs> you there, mate? Well, you've never seen my command. Wait, it doesn't say you talk. Can you hear me through the Discord? Because it says I'm going ahead. I'm flashing away. <laughs> Great effect. You've never seen a BBC, really. I should have kept. I should have kept mine out. I put it. Put it back. I mean, I can get it out. It take me five minutes to get it out. But I bought um, on the BBC Master. You know, um, everybody who saw that I had a BBC Master as well. I've just bought a. I've just bought a, a cover for it. A really nice cover for it, uh, made by a, a nice young lady up north somewhere. And. Um, I've also bought an Amstrad CPC one as well to fit on um, to fit on the, the special CPC one. You've never heard of a BBC? Well, I mean, it was a it was a UK machine. I don't know if it if it got elsewhere. To be honest, 
Andy's still trying to <laughs> still trying to get on. <laughs> anyway. So let's see if we can figure out what he's doing while he's uh Yes, we had we we had disk drives. Um I've got Can you uh, hear me now? Hello. Hello, sir. How are you Sorry, doing? It was, on, it was on push the talk, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's technology, mate, I can't use it. <laughs> Hello everybody. <laughs> there you go, Doxter says he can, he can hear you. Cool. Hi Doxter. Hi everybody else. So, yes, um, BBCs did have disk drives. I mean, they used the same, I think, the same mechanism as the 1541. It's just that 1541 had a computer in it, as the Beebs didn't. They had they had the um, C, the chip on the board, didn't they? Because you had to have the EEPROMs in and stuff like that. It's very similar to a, a, an IBM. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, I mean yeah. they, they were the same drives as well, weren't they? Yeah, they're all pretty much standard drives. I've got, I've got, um, I think I've got two double deckers that switchable between 40 and 80 tracks. So I've got two double deckers. So that means there's four drives in total. Um, I, I don't know if they still work, but we can always get them out and try them. Anyway, do you want to explain your code, my friend? Uh, what do you want me to explain? Um, so all the, me the machine code stuff is in a procedure called assembler. Um, so the first thing I do is I dim a variable called memory percent with 80. Now you'll notice that there's no brackets around that. Yeah. Because it's not an array. What that's doing is it's creating a variable called memory, which is then a pointer to 80 bytes of data somewhere in memory so it's basically reserving a chunk of 80 bytes that i'm going to use to store my machine code in and that's another no. thing that the beeb can do that nothing else could do i mean could you could we if uh, in on c c64 assign 80 bytes to an integer <laughs> no <laughs> no and, and, and set the point of into memory as well no it, it no no so that's where you store in the assemble, uh, assemble code then in that uh, yep. dimmable area, yeah. Yep, that's 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 it exactly. And then I've got a loop that does two two, two passes, uh, zero and three. Um, so the first pass can either be zero or one. Zero does a, does a, a silent pass. It just basically works out where all the variables will be and all the memory addresses will be. And it doesn't do any output at all. And if you pass three, it does a listing and does the, and then does the second pass at the same time. So we'd like to print that as it as it runs. It'll it'll print out the assembled code with all the opcodes and the addresses in place. So you can see what's going on. So I could have used zero and two, and that would be completely silent. But I thought for this exercise, let's see what the codes generated. Yeah, so, because I um, use I use zero and two, because yeah, when it comes to actually publishing the, the program you didn't want it to show the assembled list but no. and i noticed i noticed you'd use three but it's great for when you check in to see make sure everything's right yeah and i, and I figured for for today you might want to sort of see the code on the screen yeah 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 so so the next what this that that next line one third important you have to reset this in every pass and what it's doing is it's setting the program counter equal to the start of that memory block that I've reserved. So it's going right to the top of that memory block I've, I've set up. Um, and then it, when it starts assembling, it starts at that address and increments it by one every time it needs a byte in the code. So you have to reset it for the second pass to make sure that it put you know, the, 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 the address is so lined up. So it resets it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I won't go through all the code in, in, in any great depth. It's on my website. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. My, my blog. Um, it's, it's exactly the same code I use for Shalan, apart from the fact that I took out the illegal opcodes just 
A, because the, the interpreter didn't understand them. Yeah. Uh, and also, the assembler didn't understand them. Uh, and, and B, because um, it, just, it makes it easier to read. One of the things I did find is that you, you can quite happily put all the opcodes in lowercase, and it's quite happy. It'll quite happily assemble them. But you'll notice on line 230, I had to use a capital X for the index. <laughs> and, yeah, and there, there's quite a few of them. Um, you have to use a capital letter for the index. If you put, put lowercase in there and run it, it'll ever with that line and say, available not found. Um, which I thought was really strange. Really? So it yeah. classes it as a variable? All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it, it breaks at that point. <laughs> Um, so, so the, the other thing I've, as well I've done is at line 150, I've put a label in there called entry. Yeah. So, so when I run the program, that that entry variable will be defined in BASIC, and it'll call that address that I've set up. So you can you can you can actually jump inside your machine code to labels from outside of them from from BASIC. Yeah, because this way. this label here and this label here and this label here, the BASIC can still see them even though they're inside the machine yeah. language, aren't they? Yeah, so for readability, I just had the entry point into the code that, that we call. Yeah. If I scroll down a bit, I'll show you something that is, that is interesting and that's something I found out a bit later. Um, you'll see that I've got these equal D and equal B commands. Yeah. Now, what they are is the equivalent of the dot byte that we've used in assembler before. Yes. Now, one of the problems with, with this is you can't do equal byte 0, 1, 0, 1. Because it only takes the first argument, so you have to put equals byte one colon equals byte zero colon equal, which is messy, right? Yeah. So, so what I've done is I've used a 32-bit word and, and glued the the bytes together to 32-bit word. But <laughs> when it assembles it, it turns it into Little Indian, so it reverses the so bytes. it reverses it. <laughs> yeah. So. Each one of those pairs is actually reversed. When, when, when we do the assembly, you'll see that they're actually reversed in, in, in pairs. Um, but that's how you define data in your, in your application. But you can't use commas or spaces to separate it. You have to put the equals byte command in every single time. Oh, which is a little bit annoying. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, it's, I mean, that is very clever. I'll give you that, mate. <laughs> 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 well, originally, the, the, the first piece I sent you, um, what I did was I, I created variables relative to the, the p percent um, variable. Yeah. And then I, poke, I poked the um, the values into a table in, in BASIC. Uh, but it wasn't very nice um, to look at and it wasn't very efficient. So when I discovered those commands. Um, also, interestingly, those commands don't exist before version 1.20 of the OS. All right. So in the original OS, those commands aren't available to you. Well, luckily most beebs are 1.2, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. But also, um, that um, sign command you were using before, you could crash BBC Basic in version 1. If you put minus, sign, minus then the, the command sign in a variable, it would double negative it, and it would just bomb Basic out. Not, not even error, it would just bomb it out in a mess. So... <laughs> So version 1 wasn't very good. No. That's probably why version 1.2 came out. <laughs> <laughs> More than likely. <laughs> so so once it's assembled, I exit the procedure. Let's go back up to the top. Um, yeah. And then it just... Uh, so next pass. And then you yeah. call entry as a... Uh, a yeah. And then... So I... And you get rid of the, the, the cursor. Yeah, that was just to make it look pretty. So get means it's waiting for us to press a key, yeah? Yeah. And then it yeah. waits down there. Okay, so let's yeah. ru let's run it. Let's see what happens. So I've got my finger on shift and control to hopefully stop this. There we go. So that's all the uh, that so that's the output that we're getting. It's same as kick when you do the when you set the build uh, yes. The byte build uh, output. Yep. And so it's put it at 1E something something, because I didn't quite yep. get it. So if I press a key now, boom. There you go. Is it right? Nice Let's spiral. have a look. <laughs> it may be right, because it's the same code I came second on Shell and <laughs> 
<laughs> and he ain't getting this Mega 65 back. I'll t- I tell you something. I, w- I wonder how, if we had a timer on it, I wonder how fast this would come. Because the well, beep's I, supposed I, to be twice the speed, isn't it? Yeah, I did, I did try to time it with the basic command, but the, the basic command, I believe, works off the vertical blank interrupt. Right. And it draws it, it, draws it faster than a single vertical <laughs> blank. It doesn't update the timer. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's it's instant. Yeah, it is it is quick. I mean, that's why I like the BBC. It was it was it was fast. I mean, def- you couldn't run Defender on anything else but a BBC. But it was just yeah. too 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 fast. But, I mean, it's it's exactly the same code as running on the um, as as running on the sixty four. Uh, there's no. Yeah. There's no um, there's no hardware being used for it. It's the same size screen, so I would guess that, that probably not quite twice as fast because I'd take nearly glop code out, but probably pretty close to twice as fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the beauty of it is, except for your illegal op code, you didn't have to change much. No, and I could probably have just used um, a byte command in there to, to put the illegal op code in. Yeah, yeah, um, and it's still and it wrong. Prob- it worked, yeah. Yeah. It just wasn't very readable. I wanted to make it readable for the for the stream, so. Um, but but that's yeah. just to show that even though if if, if even if you got a C sixty four text based or a pet, let's call it a pet because we're talking one colour here. So if you had a text based pet machine language game, all you had to do was just change the screen location, it would run on a BBC. If it didn't call any ROMs and it wasn't anything specific for the VIC chip or anything like that. It would run on the Beeb. And it would run a lot quicker. I ought to try that on my pet ski. On my... Um, oh, just thinking about it now. Frogger. My pet Frogger. I should try that. I'll convert it to Beeb. Yeah, I'll try that. Well, thank you very much for doing the homework. Seeing as only two, two of you did it. No problem, sir. I shall drop off the call now and let you get on with the stream. All right, then, mate. Thanks very much for joining us. It's a pleasure. See you later. Bye. See you Bye. later. Yeah, let's uh, hang up here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, AMK Studios 2010. Um, I did notice that. <laughs> Right, so only two people, only two people did the homework. So there you go, Andy. There's another 10 points for doing the homework. Now, this this exercise was just to show you that the BBC had an inbuilt assembler in BASIC that you could write assembly code in BASIC and run it and it, you interact with the... The pointers in basic um, and you could speed up your programs now unfortunately in the C64 we can't do that <laughs> give me a C64 I've gave you dig dug mate shut up um, now we're gonna look we're gonna look at how to do it in the assembler so I've I've managed to um, grab the Beaver Sem manual, and I'm <laughs> it is. You got me to. I spent four five days doing that, mate. <laughs> it is homework. Um. Anyway, so. The BBC has got its own assembly. It's called Beeb ASM, ASM, and it. They have tried. They have tried to make it um, reflect the inline basic assembly. They've tried to make it to, very similar to how that used. Down, even down to the quirky and ampersand signs for the dollar sign to specify. Um, what a hex number is so it does the same as kick you can assign variables but the only difference is you don't have to type the word label in front 
Um, we do we do not have start equal its origin or start point. So you set, specify the origin to be whatever you want. Every label has a dot in front of it, so they are mimicking. I haven't figured out. Well, you're at the right stream, mate, because hopefully by the end of the stream, you'll be able to write your own assembly machine language code. So the labels have to start with a dot, which is replicating the inline basic labeling. And that you can multi-instruction on a line, which you can do in basic. You can put colon, then another code, colon, another code, and blah, 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 and so on and so forth. By the way, can you see this? Is this big enough? Let's get rid of the uh, shift that over. Let's boost it up a bit. There you go. Is that better? Can you see that now? Is that better? There you go. So labels start with a dot and you don't, you know, it's not like kick where you put a colon at the end and you can use decimal. If you want to use uh, hex, you have to use the ampersand sign, not the dollar sign. I have fallen foul of that quite a few times. And the rest is very similar to um, kick. The only difference with uh, kick and here that they have got these um, directives inside um, the assembler. So dot byte in kick is uh, EQ, EQUB in assembl in assembler, but I think you can do what Andy was saying. He couldn't do in the inline basic. You can do in the assembler. You can do EQUB 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah. Um, there's uh, EQUD, which is a double double word. Is it a double word? Yeah, double word. So that's 32 bit. There's EQUW, which is a word, which is a 16 bit uh, word. And then there's EQUS, which is a string. And the the string allow you can you can put numbers in the string so as they've got there they've got carriage return and then they've got a term a terminator and then you specify you can and what you do is you specify the start and the end of your code where it ends as two labels because you need to be able to tell the assembler what to save what memory chunk to save and the, the save command can have many, many different um, operations. So in this particular instance, he's running the Beeb assembler and he's saying the input file is simple.asm to do a disk, and this is the disk, yeah, and then to make it bootable, and what he's going to use for being bootable is my code which somewhere there my code there well the file name and so what that does beeb assembler then compiles the compiles uh, compiles assembles the um code saves it as a file inside an ssd and then you can set it to be whether it's bootable and if it is bootable what do you want booting so the assembler is pretty, it's pretty, it's got a lot of um, arguments to it. Now, like I say, I've managed to, I've managed to nick this. So these are all the arguments. So as I in the template, so if I go back into the template and look at this, right? So here, is the job the tasks that I've put into the template so there's two tasks one to build and one to run yeah so the first one is to build 
the current ASM file. And what it does is it runs Beeb Assembler. You know, so it does the V, then it says what file do I want to assemble? I want to make a disk output and where to put it. So I'm telling it to put it in a subdirectory called SSD and making the file name of the SSD based on the file name that we're assembling, making it so it's bootable and I'm making main the, um, the, the thing that's bootable. And the reason why I'm making main the thing that's bootable is because in the code, so if you look at the sample code, right, where is it, where is it? There, main. So I've, I've told the assembler that the program is called main and these directives in here are specifically for the disk really to um, tell it what sort of disk to make. So it, it could be, you could have created a double sided disk which is a DSD, but the files are not big enough to be double sided. And then the second task is just to run that SSD inside Beeb emulator. Now, this template, this template here, is on my GitHub. You can grab it now, and you should be able to assemble that straight off the bat. So what you do, you do Control Shift P, or whatever Mac is, and whatever. Um, Linux is you say run task and it because we've loaded from a workspace it knows there's two tasks in the workspace and so you can say right build the current assembly file which it does and it produces the output look yeah it also in the SSD creates in the SSD folder creates the uh, virtual uh, drive in SSD and then all you have to do is run it again so you do control shift P run task and this time is run current ASM in the emulator so you do that and there you go so I just ran my A level program all right so that's how to use my template and as long as as long as the code at the very end as long as the code at the very end you call it main though those tasks will never fail if you call it something else it will build it will it will assemble it will assemble the file okay and it will add it to the disk but the boot option when it tells it to boot from main will fail so it won't automatically run so you might have to load it in and then run it all right but the assemb so they're the so these are the different um arguments so there we go we've got the boot what file name do we want to boot off this specifies whether you know it's a new disk image the you can actually say you can actually specify what the output file is if you want you know don't have to but you can um, opt is the same I think um, as in the Beeb where you can send it to a printer I think it was star opt 4 or something oh, well I don't use that I don't need I don't understand why they would want to use it to be honest title well that's where you can title the disk now DI DI is interesting because that is actually saying I want to insert this program into a disk that already exists. Right? So if you do DS, DI file name, it will actually insert that program you've just assembled into another SSD. So if you let's say you've got a uh, a program that's of many pro many assembled programs all individual and you want them to be all on one SSD, you, you, you would use DI instead of DO, yeah? Because DO is to create a brand, brand new disk, as DI is saying, I want to insert this into an existing one. 
and the game that I showed last time, the the the, the shoot 'em up, they use DI because they've got a blank disc. They have a blank disc that's already set up for the game, and then they insert all the, the programs into that. Dot slash V. Well, that's just the output, so it's basically the same as um, build. The build um, kick out output. Never tried this. So Visual C++ style error messages. You could dump all the um, labels if you wanted to by doing mi minus D. I think the only time I ever do that is if I'm jumping to a place I'm not sure about and I want to find out what what uh, value that label was set. Uh, minus W. There must be white space between opcodes and the labels. Don't know why they put that in. Anyway, so there's, those are the arguments to put into the assembler. I have set up the template to do brand new disk and just to in, load the file in there and boot straight off it. I don't think you need anything else to be honest, but if you want to, then there's all the parameters. Right, the interesting bit is these are all the things that you can do, I think, in Kick. I think, you know, simple uh, mathematics, simple shift in. Does Kick do power to? It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does do power to. Um, bracket expressions, but you can do both curly ones and square ones. Really? Okay. <laughs> you can do tests. Um, so they return 0 or minus 1, which is false, comma, true, I think. Minus 1 is true, yeah. Um, so you can do simple um, tests in there and you get the result of 0 or 1. Simple. These are not operands. These are expressions that you can put in. So you can do ands, you can do ors. S same thing as kick do the low or high so we can do either the quick like the kick version or you can actually specify it i want the low byte of this value or i want the high byte of this value or you can do this which is the same now i do this because it's quicker and i understand it it's got simple well trigonometry things it's even got the sng in there nice and these you know like kicks the same now pi is a value is pi value in kick hmm p percent which is the um, program counter i mean they've got star there as well if you want to use it you can specify what cpu but i'm not i think i've got to look further down to see what sort of CPU it is. And then we've got, you can specify time, you specify whatever format the time is. And I'm not too sure, I think that's just for the output. I'm not too sure if it's for assembly purposes. I don't know. So the assembler directives, org, where to, st where to put my code? I wanna put it at this point, yeah? And you can use P% if you want, because they try to emulate the InBasic assembler. Um, CPU, so what have we got in here? What's the PLX and the TRB? Oh, I've got to look at that. Uh, skip the number of bytes. That's just moving it on. You can skip to an address if you wanted to. I'm not sure why. Waste of memory if you want to do that. Uh, align, which is the same as kick. That aligns to a page border. Include a file name. Include a binary file name. So it, this include is ASM. This include is binary. And then you've got your dot byte in a equivalent in kick. Um, dot word in kick. I don't think it has a double in kick. 
not sure. Um, dot text in kick, but it can be an array of bytes for strings. And you can remap characters, which I didn't know about. So if you've, if you've got a, a dodgy, say if you've got a, an accent character that you want to use or something like that, a character that's not, say, in a PC um, ASCII, you can actually map a character, like a question mark, uh, to produce that character in the... Yeah, or Petsky to ask you, yeah. And it allows you to map onto, um, which I thought was very clever. Guard. So this basically um, um, protects an area of memory. So do you remember when I was doing um, the graphics module and I spent <laughs> some time trying to figure out why command didn't work? And it turned out I'd assembled over the top of <laughs> the data that was supposed to be used. And I couldn't understand why. Well, in this assembly, you can actually put a guard on an address. So if it hits that address, it will error. So it won't overwrite it. So you can protect some some area of memory. If you know it's going to be tight and you don't, and you don't want it to encroach on an area of uh, memory... You can put a guard command uh, directive in, which will protect, which will stop the assembler from assembling if it gets to that point. You can clear out space if you wanted to, so you could tell the assembler to. Um, do can you specify? Clear clears uh, all the ah oh, clears all the guards. All right. I must be thinking of another one. I know there's a, this, I think it's the fill, where you can fill an area with a uh, specific code or byte number. Save. Self-explanatory. Um, this is to something to do with the disk image. Is that, oh, that's ex specifying the execution address. Okay. Print. I think that's just to print any text out in when you do your assembly you can uh, like um, in kick where you do star equals star and then quotes and you put a label in and it comes in the memory you can put print statements in there to actually on the way as it's assembling produce these um, print statements so and then you've got all the other things like if I mean, this is probably what we would use if we was doing multiple systems. So if if um, so, basically that's saying if it's a if you're creating a ROM, then we're going to start it there, but we don't want to exceed there. If you're creating a tube application, we start it there, but we don't exceed there. And then for a program, start it there, but then don't exceed there, because I think seven sees the screen. So we can do the similar sort of things that we did in Petsky Matrix where we can specify um, uh, variables and then test whether they're active or not and you assemble in different um, things. So, got the same localizations, I suppose, could call it that, as kick, so you can put um, code in a curly bracket and then those labels are not exposed outside of that cur that um, area so you've got the same similar sort of thing there and then that was there are all the things now I've got this um, PDF so if anybody wants it I'll send it to them but it's all the basic stuff as I've covered there so like I say the things, the things, the things you've got to remember. Don't use a dollar sign. <laughs> it doesn't like it. <laughs> it doesn't like it. Put a dollar sign in, it will fail. You have to use ampersand. Now I know, um, Mr. Kebab 
is playing with kick and seeing if he can use kick to create um, disc images for the BBC. How have you got? How, how you got any further on that, mate? Because um, if you haven't, I have an idea. I have an idea. It means it means creating some tasks, yeah. On the disc writer side, well, this is what I was thinking, yeah. Because if, if let's say if you want to use kick, and there's no there's no issue with wanting to use kick. Um, the thing that. Yes, exact. That's what I was about to say. Um, if you want to use Kick to write code for the BBC, you can do that. But instead of um, outputting it as a PRG, you output it as a binary. Yeah. Yeah, minus bin file, and so in in this um, task. Where we do the, where we run the, uh, run the BBSM, you could actually instead of telling it to create a disk, yeah, you could uh, get rid of that and then just put minus bin file and it would create a binary file of your program, and then the next next task you could do is then have Beeb Assembler take that binary file and then create a disk um, SSD of it and then have a third task which then runs it in the assembler so you've got three tasks that you would want one to assemble it in kick one for Beeb ASM to put it into a disk image and then one to actually run it on the emulator now um, I thought of this about 50 minutes <laughs> before the stream starts and I was going to try it when I'd finished streaming to see if I could do it. Because then it might help Mr. Mr. Kebab um, out instead of having to figure out how to do a disk writer. Get Beeb, get Beeb ASM to do it using a make file or something like Andy says, make, make file. So we could have a task that runs the make file. And the make file would do those operations. Or you could have the three tasks um, in the workspace. So th the question is whether we want to use the Beeb assembler or use Kick, because either way, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and play with both, yeah, because um, I want to learn another assembler. Um, but I, I like saying, I keep falling, keep falling into the trap of putting um, dollar signs in when I shouldn't be. <laughs> it's really annoying. He's <laughs> going, why is that not working? Oh, I'll put a dollar sign in, like a wally. Um, but it's it's very similar, and I've written um, and I'm testing it by the way. I've written a converter. From Beeb ASM to Kick, yeah. So it'll take a Beeb ASM file and convert it into a Kick file. So um, it will convert. It will change all the ampersands into dollars. It will change all the labels to be the correct label, and it will reformat the um, equals S equal Bs equal W and equal into the correct format but I'm testing it at the moment because it is having a few issues I'm, I'm having a, a few issues especially when it comes to something quirky and I don't know how to um, to do it so the assembler is in the template I have given you a demo hello world template right which is the one that's straight out of the uh, GitHub, the, the Stardot GitHub site. Uh, just basically doing he Hello World. I will be, and I, I'm not too sure I've done it in the, have I done it in the Patreon group? No, I haven't. 
I will be putting the A level, my A level code that we wrote on the last stream that was embedded into um, the basic assembler. I have converted it into Beeb ASM and I've also put a couple of uh, tricks in there like, you know, doing the start and end of the text so you can you can do basically what we did in what you do in kick when we when we're um, trying to f work out the start and end of the text yeah so it's similar to that and uh, i've even left the basic commands in to from the start to finish because i thought it was thought it was appropriate to leave those in um as you can see i've used capitals for constants so these are so that's the equivalent of FFD2, I suppose, in Commodore World. Um, this one, I've got to read up about. I don't use it. I don't think. No, I don't. I've got to read up about that one. Oswald, Oswald. I don't know what that that one does, but I know this one's the FFD2. Set the zero pages set the variables that I want to run on zero page. So these are actual, they're not labels, they're variables within the system. Oh, where's Character Rider, is it? So what's that? But that's a, I thought that was the Character Rider. Oh, is that to print to a disc or, or write to a file? Right, okay. Screen RAM on the BBC. Well, the text uh, screen RAM on a BBC starts at 7C100. So that's right at the top of the BBC memory range. Because I think its memory goes from 0 to 8000 because it's 32K. Um, so it's right at the very top, the text bit, not the bitmap uh, bit. But Andy made his spiral work in one of the bitmap modes and it still pretended it was the text screen area because he didn't have to put the at sign byte by byte on the the thing it did it for him um this is where i've got my title so the title in the center of the screen this so this is just two two variables, and then what happens is I've told it this the code start, and I've got at the bottom code end. So they're the two extremes of the code. So that's the entire program that I want to save to disk, and I use code start and code end in my save here. Yeah, so I'm telling it to save a program file called main from the start to the end. Now, it's far easier to do that than try and figure out what it is, right? Just for having two extra <laughs> labels. Call them what you want. I've called it code start and call it, uh, code end. And then it's just like kick. The only difference is for your labels, as in a label that you jump to, you have to put a dot in front of it, not a colon at the end of it. Um, I don't think there's any concept of, um, I don't think there's any concept, where's the assembler gone again, where's the assembler gone, I keep closing fire programs down, I shouldn't, ebooks, BBC, I don't think there's a concept of a temporary label. I didn't see anything. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Labels are defined within scope. No. Oh, 
Oh, it does macros, by the way. Just in case you want to do macros. I don't see anything about temporary variables. No. So I don't think it has um, the concept of a temporary variable. And that's why I haven't written a converter from kick to this. Because when I got to a temporary variable, I thought, oh, okay. Uh, what do I do now? <laughs> so I'm not doing a kick to BBS, BBS uh, ASM converter. So all the labels have to be named. Yeah. But because because you've got the curly brackets, you can scope the, the, the name. So you could re, reuse a label name within the scope of that. And it's just the same as everything else. So the um, the late May challenge could have been done on here, to be honest. Except we haven't got a... I don't know where the character ROM is, to be honest, to, um, to read it. But this is my bank account one. So like I say, control P, build. Control P, run. And it runs it. So it's up to you guys whether we um, use this or try and make a kick friendly version. I know that Mr. Kebab wants to because he doesn't like the fact that you have to put an ampersand in front of it. But I think it, um, I think it uh, be interesting. I just, I just have a look. Oh, there's your hello world, mate. <laughs> Getting sidetracked. So this is this is this template's on GitHub. So if you want it, go grab it. Um, if you need to set up a development environment. Um, as you can see, it's VS Code. The extension that I'm using is, where is it? Oh, you're using Vim. Okay. So the Beeb extension, where is it? There we go, VSC, I missed it. So that's the extension. And all you have to do for this extension is just tell it where the assembler is. Yeah. So I tell it where the assembler is and you tell it where the emulator is. And that's all you need to do. Now, I don't know why it asks for the emulator because you can't... I just don't know why, unless they've changed it, because there wasn't a hotkey to build. Let's have a look. Oh, press F10 will provide you a drop down of, okay. Oh, it, cr it creates the task for you. Okay. Build the target. Press F7. Control Shift B. And run F9. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. So F7. F7. Build it. F9. Oh, run it. There we go. <laughs> nice. So, does is that All oh, right, so it's but that's mine. That's my task. That is definitely my task. Let's try a different one. Hello world. F7. Yeah, it's definitely my task. So it's hooked into those two those two tasks that are in there. 
Is that where the cup cha character ROM is? Is that really where the character ROM is? I see a challenge coming. Should we take my code and see if we can get it to do it? Just to see how easy it is to take the kick. Let's try it. And you can get out there and go in there. Right, let's find my code. Right, so there's my competition code that came third from last because I'm a proper programmer. <sighs> Don't cheat. So, we need to do a little bit of conversion. So, now the comments is the other way around, I think. Yeah. Also, let's get it into that. So the comments is the other way around. It is that. So in fact, we will do a find and replace on that. Convert it to that. So, um, there's no such thing as virtual, so we're gonna to have to give these proper proper addresses so 10 and I'm doing it again I can feel it I'm doing it again 12 <laughs> oh dear Please get kick working. I mean, we could do, we could try it. I just need to create another task, don't I? Um, just need to create another task. Uh, let's see. Now we'll do a make file. Because then we can do the build in one go. Let's do a make file. Um, will make files run on? Because um, they're, they're effectively batch files, aren't they? Now let's do let's do this. Right, so um Right, let's do this. Well, hopefully, mate. If I if I get this right, we'll be able to do that. So, um, kick, 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 kick. I need the address for kick. Where is it? So, 
So, um, it's minus jar and then the the name, isn't it? What's the kick? Um, it's that. So what's the parameters I need to put into kick? Let's do one. Right, did it give me the parameters for kick? No, it didn't. Anybody know the parameters to put into kick to make it do it? Yeah. We know it's bin file, isn't it? Minus bin file. What else do we need? Need file to assemble, yeah. I'm missing the class name. Oh, I've never, I've never run. Hang on, I've never run this on its own. Right. Okay. Jar minus minus jar. Right, so it's just the it's just the file name. That's it. Will that just export it as a that I should do it right let's copy my program back in oh it's in the math library oh okay So we're taking my code and trust me to double it it. Go away. Right, so that's this kick code, right? So we'll put it back to plain text because I've turned kick assembler off. Plain text, text, text. Where's text? 
Plain text. There we go. So we've created another. Why is it complaining? Missing property command. Okay. Am I missing a... Pr like a wallet. So the command is that, isn't it? Oh, cheers, mate. Right, so the command is Java minus CP. Oh, minus CP. Okay. This has got to be an argument, hasn't it? That's got to be an argument here. Java is the thing. Oh, come on. Right, that's the command. It's got to be. Java is the command. And the arguments is minus CP. Where the jar file is. The class name. Minus bin file and the name of the file. What's he complaining about now? Oh, missing type. What do you mean, type? <sighs> See if that'll work. Right. Okay, control P, run task. Do I have assembling kick? Here we go. Fingers crossed, everybody. Watch it blow up. Could not load or find. Oh, I'm missing a quote. I'm missing a quote. Hang on. Let's try that again. P. Run task, assemble. <sighs> Class not found. Put it in a bin directory. Why is it not? Why is it complain about the class not found? 
We don't have to wrap that in. Shouldn't need to do that. Still saying it can't find the class. Du, 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 du. Nope. And it doesn't like that either. Um, I don't know what it's complaining about. Oh, I could get this going without people watching me. <laughs> oh. Right, let's... Um Where's my command box? Right, so where are we? We are there. Oh, I could do it from in here, couldn't I? Java. Yes, okay. Let's do the rest of it. Minus jar that Right, okay, we're getting somewhere. And um, what's next? Right, you said CP instead of job. Okay, so we'll just do CP. Okay, so it's missing this now. Okay. And then this. We'll put the rest of it on this. So that's that. And then the file, which is may challenge. ASM. Right. So let's see what we can do. CP quote, yeah, quote at the end, yeah. Yeah, minus, and we'll put that on the end. Okay. And 
Nope. What doesn't it like? Where is it saying? Where? Why is it still saying minus jar? Oh, it's because I haven't cleaned it out. Right, let me just dump it all. Right, here we go. Fresh terminal. Run. So it's executing Java. CP. That's right. That's right. That's right. That is right. I don't know why it's not finding. What do you mean here? Okay. Could not create Java Virtual Machine this time. Well, that's didn't work, did it? Okay. Yeah. Could not create Java Virtual Machine. Okay. Um, I've spelt Shalom wrong. Okay. Yeah, well, you're not going to get any AMK points for that, mate. I am always spelling things wrong. Why is this not running? You see what? Why have I got two quotes there? Is Java in the pa Yeah. I'm not worried about that at the moment. 
Right. Right, so, add command. Yeah, Java's in the path, yeah? But I don't know why it's not running. Because this looks right. I mean, that looks right. Okay. No, it didn't didn't recognize it. You'd think it would work as a process. Nope. Could not load. I'm going to take this out because there's no spaces in there. Right, that should have worked. Unrecognized option. What? Can't create, could not create virtual machine. What? Why? What option is it complaining about? I don't know why it's put in I don't like that. No, don't like that. So we've got to put the quotes in. Hello, dog. Right, so it's expecting an array, okay.
Oh, so frustrating. Right, stuff this for a game of soldiers. Let's do this. Um, right, let's do this. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. let's create a folder. Um, Right, so, um, grab that. Grab that. Just make sure that looks okay. I think that might assemble in the wrong place, but I don't know yet. And that is um, how does Shallon do it? Right. Right, let's fire this off. Right, so we want a shell and we want to run um and we want to put the arguments in of that right see if we have any success with that oh 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 um let's get rid of that Here we go, here we go. Right, where did that put it? Did that put it in bin? There, right, okay, we're on a winner here. Right, so, um, we could still use this. We could still use that, and we need to, need to, need to, need to. Where is it, where is it? Right. So in here, let's grab that. Copy that. Paste it in there. Rename. Right, um, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this?
because we need to in, in we need to include the binary file, don't we? In fact, is there an output on kick? Can you specify what the output is? Anybody? Can we specify the output on kick? Or does it have to be the name of the ASM file? No, I want to make I, I want to make instead of instead of it spitting out um May challenge dot oh Let's see if we can do this. Right, so dot o and we'll call it um Right, let's see if that does it. Nope. Oh, hang on. Oh, it has. It's there. Here we go. So we will do um, so we're going to put it in there right so grab that get rid of it grab that is there anything else that I need to get rid of yeah yeah you'll get a mate you'll get a mate don't worry Right, let's just try it. Let's see if it'll put it in the bin directory now. Lovely jubbly. Right, so there's the program. So the bat file now, the um, disk ASM file now, should we should be able to include that. Now, um... Oh, the guy that did the game. Um, this one. He met. He did. A, he had a make file. Here we go. So what has he done? Oh right. Okay. Right, the guy. Right, hang on. Right, the guy that did the game had a so he had a pre-bit build make file. Now this. So it includes some source and then saves. But it doesn't say where. What down address? Right. So make dot bat view. So he's doing bbsm. Add that, and then does the master master make. Oh, I can't. I have two files open. Hang on. Let me just extract this.
Right, so when when he makes some, he runs this. So he's doing a pre-build, okay. So he's in, including some source, and then saves and saves it. Now we don't need to do that. So we can do. Um, the master. So what is he doing in the master? All right. So that's the assembly file. Because we still need to tell it where to run. Alright, so we'll, we'll tell it that we want to run it from there. Because we can't, can't... Oh, that's going to be troublesome because we've got to tell it where we've, we've, where we've compiled it to and we don't know. Because Kick's done that. I think this may be diff slightly difficult to than we thought. There you go, mate. I think this is going to be difficult than we thought because we don't. Once Kicks assembled it and we've got a bin file, we don't know where. We don't know where to put it. Yeah, because even though we've put in here that it's starting at C thousand, we don't. We don't really know where it's going to go. So, um, right, let's just change some of this, right. Right, so we don't know where it's going to put it, so we're, let's change that to 1000, right, because that's a safe bet. So we're assuming that it's going to be at 1000, so here, um, include bin <laughs> ink bin so we are looking at um, bin dot program dot bin so that would load that in we've told it where the start point is because that's where we've assembled it to and then we'll save it 
So we want to save it as main. Right. So then we just need to build it. Now we've already got a build here. So B assembler file name. So B assembler. And that's got spaces in, so we're gonna have to do this. Uh da 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 uh, da da and we want to do um no build disk dot asm put it into there underneath the file name so we could use percentage one again like that so that would run b sam and create us a disk with the same name okay so we'll get rid of that in fact we'll get rid of all of that and see if this runs so tasks do that well we have a we have an ssd um let's find out if it runs Oh, I've forgotten where this is. Oh, it's the template, isn't it? Right, so we're in bin, SSD. That didn't load, did it? Okay. Is it star boot, Andy? How do we get it to boot off the disk? Control F12. Oh. Shift F12. shift yeah okay <laughs> run main 666 okay I don't know where you got that from right so we've got this to assemble I think we've got it to assemble so um, the question is you said it was at that so we're hoping it's calling it there. Hoping. Boot main. We're telling it in there what the start and end date end is. We're saying it's 1000. Okay, let's do it again. Ooh, no, it didn't like something there. Is that meant to be a single quote? Oh, 
Okay. Okay. Let's see, shall we? In fact, I should be able to do F9. Oh, it's got the ASM in. Hang on, it's got the ASM in. Um, let's just do that. Change this to put um, percentage one dot ASM. And it does that. Right. So get rid of that lot. Get rid of that. Right. Run task with that. So we have that. So we should be able to press F9. Well, it ran it. <laughs> it didn't do anything. Oh. Uh, what are we missing? What are we missing? Um. What are we missing? Okay. Well, it's it's got the load and execution, right? Run main. Okay. Um And it won't put anything on the screen because I haven't changed any stupid locations. Right, okay. Uh, do, 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 right, so. So, um, 7C is the start, so 5 is 01, so 7D. Um, screen color we haven't got a clue and I don't it doesn't matter anyway right let's see if that works right let's see if we get anything on the screen F9 no Oh, this is going to be... Where's the clear screen? That. Let's see if it's actually running it by clearing the screen first. <laughs> Oops. Oh, it doesn't like uppercase, does it? It says it's done it.
Well, it's definitely running it. It's definitely running it. But I think the characters are not coming back as I want them to. So where's the user guide? Uh, fact. Right, so we are looking for, so if they're the characters that we send in, Okay, so if they're the characters we send in, then I need Right, so I need here forty four forty three uh Four A. Okay. Oh, come on. Is it definitely at C thousand? I know I'm I'm not I'm gonna mess around with that. I'm not gonna mess around with that. Because that's dependent on a character on, but what we'll do is we'll do the spiral. We'll load the spiral in. Yeah, we'll do the spiral mate. Because we know that's working. So let me just find my spiral and do that way. So let me get me code for me spiral. Right, so this is the spiral, yeah? So, um, we'll create a new file. Um, so this is the kick spiral, so we'll get rid of that. And we'll do the same thing as we did before. Star equals dollar one thousand yep so we're going to start at one thousand so the spiral is seven c seven d um this is clear screen so we will nick that And everything else should be the same. Right, okay. So we'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. We're still using the name. And we're still using that, okay. So let's get rid of all this lot so we're not getting confused with anything. Get rid of that as well. 
So that's all we've got. Right, so run, assemble with kick. And it's done it. And we have a SSD. Right, so F9. Oh, so close. Just make sure that um, just make sure the file's okay. Um, hang on. So one thousand to six E, one thousand to six F. So we're 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 in the we're in the right ballpark. So what? So it cleared the screen, but then didn't do anything. Let's just make sure that's the same spiral. Yeah, it is. Oh, I cleared the screen at the start, didn't I? I suppose it shouldn't make any difference, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, 7B into high, FD into low, sets up. Jump line. Oh, hang on. Where's that going? That's going there. And then I stop, I pause it there. Oh, 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 oh. The um, character's not the same, is it? That's the difference. Character's not the same. 64 is the character. Where are we, where are we, where are we? 64, yeah. All right, let's try this again. So this is the kick version of Spiral. Go on, uh, assemble it seems to be okay and then we are going to f9 it <laughs> i've missed my test where's the test where's the test gone um there <laughs> Uh, 7C. Right, here we go. F9. <laughs> I got the most. <laughs> I got the most. Right, here we go. F9. Oh, come on. Um... That's aborted uh, early. Hang on, let me just check this one. What was the cutoff point? 7B. Plank. Right, so we've got it assembled. F9 to run in the emulator. Get in there. Finally. God, it's a bit of a faff, isn't it? That is a bit of a faff. But it's done it. We have we've assembled it in kick, created an SSD out of it. But the, the problem is it's restricted because we're having to use the BB assembler to make the disc. So this never gets transferred across because in the binary file it's just numbers. Yeah, we don't know where the start point is. It's just numbers. Um, 
So in this build disk, we've got to tell it where the start point is and the end point is. I suppose these two, I suppose these two files would become hand in hand, like Shalom's got on um, in his GitHub. Where is it? Here. Well, he's got it in his GitHub. Um, hang on, don't know if you can see that. There we go. So this file is, it must be unique to the project that it's in. But he always knows where his start point is. So, so we could it, it it would still work as long as we can as long as we've got kick assembling from 1000 onwards this would all still work when where does basic start on the bbc So where's basic start? Angie, do you know where basic starts? Is it here? where the basic program starts loading. Okay. Well, it can't be that. It must be here, OE. It must start there, OE. So that's where basic starts. Okay, so starting at 1000 is not a bad shout, I suppose. Character ROM, okay. Let's see if character ROM's in here. Oh, it only, it only goes up to 6A. Eh? Doesn't go any further than that. Part two. Um, CO character ROM font lookup table. Oh, it's a lookup table. See, it's only three on. It's only three pages. So it's only a lookup table, so it must be looking somewhere else. But with my, um, Mr. Kebab, what do you think? You you probably can make it a bit more elegant than me. But we've proved that we can do it. So we can kick, assemble a file, and then run it um, for the beeb. Let's do it again. I'd like to make sure. F9. Yeah. So we can start. We can start doing the. Um, we can start now um, figuring out what to do figuring out how to mess around with this now I saw a video of someone messing around with sprites soft, soft, software sprites but he, he was talking way too fast on the video and I've got to I've got to go through it part by part but I what I'll do is I'll put this on GitHub. So I'll leave the other two in. In fact, I'll do that now while I'm here. While I'm here. So we are in. In fact, I'll include these as well. So we'll include that. Uh, we'll definitely include that. Not that. 
that, 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 and that. Okay, so uh, symbolar. Right, that should now be on Git. There you go. So the bat files are in there now. And I've put a couple more tests on that, demos on there. There you go, mate. Um, see if that. Well, it worked. It solved the problem. It solved the problem. Um, read me. Uh, I suppose I should have changed that, shouldn't I? Oh, I'll change that later. So have a crack at it. Yeah. We now know that we can. We can. Um, kick it so as long as you as long as you start <laughs> I, I don't know how credit ID would that work on Linux would you have to convert it for Linux to make it do it because I suppose it's bash isn't it Well, if you do convert it and you get it working, right, can you can you send it me and I'll put it in the repo, yeah? So at least then um, the link the Linux community don't get left out, yeah? So, um, well, if you can, if you can give them if, if it's different between, if Linux is different than Mac, then give me all three and we'll just put them all in there and I'll just put some text in the readme to let people know what, what, what to use, what to use it for. Yeah? Because I've just done it in Windows, you know. Um, really should have messed around with. Yeah, no problem. But if... If you want to, if you want to update the template with um, the Linux version of it and the Mac version of it, send, just send it to me and I'll upload it and we'll and I'll change the README to um, to reflect that. But I'm I'm really pleased now we've got it to to assemble the kick. I know it's a bit of a faff, but it does it. And the rule is that you start your project at one thousand don't see that's an issue I think means that we could use the variable space before 1000 so we could use EO and FO as uh, sorry OE and OF as variable space when we decide when we start coding this that oh, mate so, I think that was, that's, that's, I've got, I got, got more done in, in this than I was expecting, because I was expecting to uh, um, have to explain the Beeb assembler, but now I don't have to, do we? Because we're going to be using Kick. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So, yeah, guys, give me the... Um, Give me the version. Give me the the bat file. Give me the bat file. Yeah, I think it's if you do assemble.sh or assemble.linux.sh, assemble.mac.sh or something like that. Then we can at least 
the least do it. This will be exactly the same anyway, because this is this is uh, a, an a, an assembly file, yeah. But then it means that any anybody can take this template and apply it. Can can you? Can you create a task per operating system? Grab the t grab the template, mate, and modify the task JSON to cover, and then send it back to me, and I'll update the repo. If you can do that, that's gonna. Well, if we can do that, mate, let's let's do it. Let's make this template work for anybody. Yeah. And then you don't have to worry about your file program. And we'll look at the um, this file explorer, this thing, because I've got the code for this. Unfortunately, it doesn't allow you to. See, it allows you to see the contents, but it doesn't allow you to. If it was a basic program. It, to see it not like file explorer does but you have to pay for that one All right and we can we can start um, coding in kick for the BBC right so homework what should I do for homework um, and A and K points are up for this to get you into the mood. Now I know Andy's done it. <laughs> Drink three beers for dinner. So make the. Sp All right. Will, mate, will you grab the repo and take the uh, task.json file and alter it and then send it back to me and I'll put it back in the repo to get it to work for the oper different operating systems. Yeah. Can you do that? Right, homework. Right, we're going to keep on the spiral theme, yeah? Because uh, we know how to do it. So, homework. This time is to make the spiral go in the other direction. So Andy's going to have to think about it. <laughs> so we make the spiral go in the other direction, yeah? So using kick, so you're starting at a thousand. So you're starting at <laughs> start, starting at so start at a thousand. Grab grab the template repo and build your starts off screen. All right. <laughs> so um. So basically, we are doing this. Um, so we are doing, right, let me just, uh, I wonder if this will do it. Right, so we are effectively doing that way. So we're inverting it across the vertical, right? 
use kick use kick assembler download the template um, depending if the project has the, the JSON tasks has been updated and if we've got the SH files but try it build your spiral but going in the other way going the other way <laughs> that's the homework Hang on, mate. Da, 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 da. There you go. So I want you to build the spiral in this direct in that direction. So we're basically flipping it on its vertical axes as homework, and then we'll try and um, we'll try and see if we can figure out how the memory works to see if we can on the bitmap mode to see if we can get um, some sort of characters on the screen. I've got couple of books up there that I've got to read all right so homework that's it and let's see um, 20 K AMK points are up for grabs if people do it all right So, I think that's a good place to stop, to be honest. We've got it working. Grab the repo. Download Beeb Assemb. And I think Microman put the Beeb Assembly repo in chat, I think. Did you? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Um, well, this is a basic tutorial, mate. I mean, the screen starts at this point. The screen starts at that location. So that's this top corner here. And it's 40 across, like a C64, and it's 24 down in mode 7. Yeah? I'm not asking you to go into any other mode. Just stay in mode 7, so that's the mode it boots into. It's got the same dimensions as a C64. You're, you're, you're going to be using basic, basic 6502 to do it. Yeah, so basically all, we're, all I'm asking you to do is to go um, that way round the screen. I mean, Microman, uh, as if you go into my Discord, are you a member of my Discord? Microman's put a basic program in Discord to do the spiral, but the wrong way, yeah? If we can do that, mate, why not? But I, I, yeah, we can, yeah, make it do it to, it assembles and runs in one go instead of two stops. Yeah. But Microman put a basic program in my Discord on the BBC channel that does the spiral in basic, BBC basic. Yeah. We saw it earlier. Um, you can use that as your as your starter for creating the assembly.
Okay, mate. That'd be great. <laughs> Defund the BBC. <laughs> so we'll give we'll give B the BBC a miss next week, so it gives you a couple of weeks to do it. Yeah. Um, cause we'll I'll do um we'll do a C sixty four stream next next. And it gives you a couple of weeks. I've got, mate, I've got to read up. I've got books to read about the architecture, yeah? break um <laughs> and and then we'll carry on um learning because we need to we need to learn about how to read the keyboard because apparently that's a bit tricky um and see how the memory works in high resolution mode for each of the modes and I'm going to look at that Galaxian program to see how they've done sprites and and see if we can make some sort of simple game on it or something like that and we'll take it from there so thank you very much for joining me have have a go please have a go you know it's a little bit of fun um, hopefully once we get the template working for all operating systems it'll be a lot easier but at least we're now working in kick and I think that's a good thing I've got to, re got to figure out how to make the kick I wonder if the kick extension still works I'll do that a test when I'm offline well thank you very much for joining me guys and I... Yeah, yeah, mate. If the, I mean, hopefully the parameters are the same for BM. So hopefully you'll be able to do the same sort of thing. All right. Well, thanks a lot for joining me. And I will see you in the next stream. Um... I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.